Hey guys, so we have an awesome test here between the best LG and the best iPhone. So let's go right to it. Now the LG dual screen just arrived. I'm pretty impressed with it. But that said guys, the iPhone is going to be extremely tough to beat. So for the first test, boot up. We have a Vantage for the LG. And now the iPhone's up. Alright guys, now for the specs. The LG screen is larger. But the iPhone's a higher resolution. And the LG also has a dual screen. On the front, the iPhone has an extra camera. And on the back, both phones have a triple camera setup. The iPhone has extra storage, but the LG supports micro SD. The LG has a larger battery. And the LG also has more RAM. Both phones are water resistant. Now at the bottom you have Type-C for the LG, which requires this if you're using the case, and the lightning port for the iPhone, and believe it or not, the LG is a headphone jack. Both phones are wireless charging, without the case of course for the LG, and both are glass. The iPhone is more expensive. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright guys, getting to it. So, first up we read it. LG, eBay, LG, Spotify, once again LG, let's move YouTube, Instagram, Excellent job here for the LG. Hi, funny. And let's see, let's uh, put up a song here. Amazon shopping. Once again, the LG. And my space gap me of photos. All right, so now for gaming. Now, usually the iPhone does a better job for gaming. Uh, the iPhone is still undefeated for PUBG. And yeah, no exception here. And yeah, sometimes it'll like stop if you have media come up on the second screen. So, put up something else here. Alright, so next we have Temp Run. But yeah guys, I mean for most apps you can use whatever you want on both screens. LG. Asphalt.
iPhone, plans for zombies. The main downside to this dual screen is it's bulky, so I would not carry it around everywhere, but indoors is perfect. Pretty close. Yeah guys, so I'll say I'm really enjoying the second screen on the LG. When I saw it online, I was pretty skeptical, but definitely enjoying it. Alright, and now for the big only Fortnite. Now, the iPhone is always takes a really long time to optimize after you restart your phone. So, we'll go through this two times. Yeah, so you guys see optimizing here on the iPhone, but skipping it on the LG. Alright, so play option up for the LG. And what is fast forward? Alright, so very easy winner for the LG. And uh, let's just load up a video. MKBHD And I do have the volume off, but uh, obviously you can Yeah, let's just actually try that for a second MacBook Air earlier? Yeah, so both at the same time But obviously guys still really really cool um, Again, once you actually try it, it's Tough not, it's tough to go back to the standard. Alright, so the iPhone's up and let's try it without the optimization. So it's gonna close out and go back in. Okay, so now once again, Fortnite. Yeah, so this time the iPhone skips the optimization. So I flicker there. Alright, so now for Geekbench. We'll run this in a few. So now for Chrome vs Safari. And as always, we're going to quote the web history. Alright, so first up we have IGN. IGN.com. LG. I need to be. Ah, hit it. Uh, two weight there on the LG. Nintendo. <laughs> Not used to doing the, uh... Okay, so still the LG, even though I was, I was a bit uh, slower on it. Yeah, let's do LG and Apple. Yeah, very impressive here for the LG. Alright, classy of Apple. Okay, so vans are for the iPhone, but overall vans for the LG. Eyes of Glory, no copyright. And now for the speakers. Now both phones are dual speakers. So first you have the LG. iPhone.
Back to OG. Yeah, so I think that the LG sounds a bit fuller, but the iPhone's a bit queer. But yeah, guys, as always, tell me your preference. Alright, so now for battery. First about the case, and then with the case. Alright, so back in a few. Alright, so more than four hours in. Let's go check in. Yeah, so easy of the answer for the LG. I think it has the best battery on the market. Alright, so now for the case. Alright, so starting up again with the dual screen. Alright, so the video is almost over. So let's end it. Uh, yeah, an hour and a half in. Okay, so the iPhone's starting to catch up, but obviously really impressive for the LG. Now for the fingerprint. First, face unlock. Yeah, so a bit quicker here for the fingerprint. Pretty impressive. So now for RAM. And let's go back, uh, not all the way back, but let's go into... Let's do photos. Excellent. PUBG Alright, so we have a restart here for the iPhone Yeah guys, so I mean this is really where RAM comes in handy Especially with apps on both screens Temp run Perfect Phone battles Alright. Let's do Fortnite. Perfect. And last one would do Instagram. Oh, and by the way, guys, I do have a video of the uh, dual screen on Instagram. That went a bit better on the iPhone. Alright, so let's run Geekbench. And I'm just going to close this out to make sure that doesn't, uh, doesn't impact it. Yeah, so as always, the iPhone better with the benchmark. But overall for multitasking, I'd say a bench for the LG. Time now for camera speed. And let's also bring up the Photos app. All 
All right, so a bit quicker for the iPhone, but pretty awesome seeing the uh, photos appear. Time now for the fun cameras. Now for the light turned off. and the stabilization. And now for the rear cameras. And again, with the light turned off. All right, so now for the wide angle. So there's the wide angle. All right, and now for the zoom. Now for the maximum zoom, which is 10x on the LG and 6x on the iPhone. All right, guys, so I'm going to comment below which phone won. Now, keep in mind, this dual screen is just an attachment, so you can take off whenever you want. Now, if you want to see a more in-depth video uh, on this dual screen, then check out my Instagram. But yeah, guys, for the winner of the video, I'd say advantage here for the LG. But as always, tell me your preference. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. And stay safe.